Right, so we're back on tractor maintenance today uh, on the old 135 behind me. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to look at the air filter on it. Now most tractors have a, a paper filter usually for an um, air filter held in a canister but the old 135 is a bit different. It's got a, a sort of wire mesh filter and um, a little oil bath so it sucks the air through the um, through the uh, oil bath and then through the filter. So we'll have a look at that because it's quite interesting to see and I'll, uh, I'll probably have to change the oil because it's probably quite dirty by now. Anyway, let's have a look. So here we are. Now the air filter is just tucked down here, believe it or not, and it draws the air from that cowling there. So, right by the engine. Um, let's have a look. So what we've got is this big cylinder here and I'm going to have to unscrew this. This is just the cover that keeps it on. You can see there, it, said, it actually says, it's written backwards because you can read it from the inside, exact oil level and then there's an arrow pointing there. So this is where the level of the oil will be, or could be. It might actually have, have gone down there by now. Um, I'm, I haven't done this, checked this for a year or so. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if the oil is actually, oh, it's fallen down now. Don't be surprised the oil is actually um, really dirty. So let's have a look. So what we've got actually, if we look back up in here, there is a primary kind of filter in there. Oh, that's actually probably a secondary filter. Because um, the air is coming down through this pipe, you can see it's full of rubbish. And then the air must go down into there. And we'll pull this one out. There we go. And sucked up through this oil, maybe, and then back through the filter. I guess that's how it works. And uh, you can see the oil level. It's actually right because the arrows are pointing to there. So we've got the oil. I've got a container, not a very clean one, but that doesn't matter because it's dirty oil. I'm going to tip this oil out and see what it's like. It doesn't look very clean. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, so you can see that oil's done its job, it's taken a lot of the dirt out of the air. And if you look in the bottom, as I thought, you can find some sort of bigger bigger lumps of dirt in there that have actually congealed. And they're quite quite big lumps. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to uh, give that a bit of a rinse out with some diesel and clean it out properly, but um that filter is not too bad. Sometimes they're blocked up with bits of straw. That's actually not too bad. And I'll probably just put that back, to be honest, because it's not that bad. I can see. Anyway, let's go and sort this one out and put some new oil in. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to put a little bit of this old old diesel in there. It's dirty diesel. I use it for cleaning brushes and all sorts. Um, let's get a brush. So. All I'm doing is, it's making a bit of a mess, slopping around here, using the diesel to help dissolve the lumps and the brush to break it up a bit. Make sure this will work. Diesel's quite good at breaking down lumps, I find. You know, I've got a narrower brush now for going around the edge. Let's Okay, so I've given that a good, real good stir around, and I'm just going to tip the excess diesel out. There's some horrible stuff coming out. Oh, there's still a bit in the bottom there, look. Needs a bit more of a poke. Tough old lumps of dirt. It's sort of congealed with the oil. That's got it. So it's still pretty grubby now, I'll just put some clean diesel in and give it a rinse. There we go, that's better isn't it, that's nice and clean. Some odd little bit down on the side there, I think it might be just 
I'm going to have to wipe this out before I put the oil in anyway, so... Uh, but that's not looking bad now. Better than it was. Okay, so I've just put my gloves on now, because um, it's getting a bit mucky. And um, so, well, diesel can give you cancer, apparently, if you get too much on you, so I don't want to get cancer. Although I think it's a very low risk. Um, so I'm just going to give this a bit of a wipe out. I mean, you know, obviously I'm seeing this it's in perfect workshop conditions. I'm just doing this on the farm. There's a bit grubby around here. I'm not getting this perfectly cleaned out. But having driven this tractor for 30 years, I know that it, it'll work fine. I've, I've emptied this before now and found that really solid with dirt and it's been horrendous. Right, so that's that cleaned out. I'm going to fill that up with oil, but we'll have a little look up there first. The, um, that little connecting pipe is probably quite dirty, so I'll have a quick look at that. Okay, so normally you see that that, that, sort, of, that sort of cowling is sort of stuck out at the top of a tractor bonnet, but for some reason it's, it's not on the Massey, it's here. Oh yeah, it's a bit dirty there, isn't it? I'll give that a brush off, but you can see straight down there. That, um, yeah, that wants a bit of a clean out. I'm not quite sure how it works really. I presume the, oil's, the air is sucked down through there. Goes through there. Back down, but I don't know how it gets back. Oh, I see it goes out, I can tell. So sucked in through the pipe there, down there, through the oil bath, back up through the filters here. And then into the, you can see a pipe going off there into the engine. So that's going off the engine mixed with the diesel, cause the combustion. So we just need to make sure that's clean because that's quite dirty. And I'll give that a brush as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out down that pipe with this bit of old bed sheet. Um, always using old rags around the farm. This is quite good because it's actually white, so you'll be able to see the stuff that comes out of here um, better than if I use a coloured sheet. Uh, typical farmer, reuse everything, nothing gets thrown out really. So let's push that down. Hopefully it'll come out the bottom. There you go. Bingo. And look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that a good tug up and down to get and give it like a polish. Don't call me the funky farm for nothing. Okay, I, I better give up the singing. Right, I think that's probably good enough. Look, you can see all the all the dirt on there pretty well coming off. I think that's good enough really. Okay, so what we need to do now is that top vent. Old brush again, recycled. Look at the dust coming off there. There's no point in putting that back on, so just get sucked down. Because I can't really, I can't get inside there because I don't know how to take it apart, but whack it on there. Some bits have come out. It's not the end of the world. I think that'll do. Put that back on. And the cover back on. Lost the handles off it a long time ago. Right, let's do the oil bath. Okay, so I've already given this a, a white round, but I'll just give it one more. I won't do any arm. An old pile of, pile of paper. This is the rolls of, no, you can see there's still a bit of dirt coming off there. These are the rolls of um, paper we use in the parlour for cleaning cow's teeth. They're very good for a lot of other things as well. Right, so that's not looking bad. Now I've got a film to that line there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I'm going to be very careful to fill that. Very precise, it says fill exactly to line. There we go. Right, and you can see there the oil's nice and clean. So we're going to put that back on. And uh, it should be good. Okay, well, just so looking at this 
filter under here. There's a couple of bits of straw in there that I just I just pulled out of my fingers, but there's nothing to worry about there. If it was really dirty, I'd give that a good clean with some diesel again. But I think you know you can see there it's not blocked up really. Um, so that's going back in the oil bath. Ooh, service daily. That's what that says. Twice in bad conditions, twice daily. Use engine oil to level shown by arrows. Do not overfill. <laughs> service daily. I don't know anybody does that unless they've got too much time on their hands. Um, okay, so this is always a fiddle. I think I can remember from before getting this this little um, cover on. Make sure that's on there properly. Getting this to grip in the right place. Okay, so I'm doing that up now. Um, well, sometimes you don't get it lined up properly, and um, it is a bit of a pain. I don't want that coming off when you're driving along the road. But that's that's it. I've cleaned that. Let's have a little. So that wasn't too bad, was it? Um, it is a little job that gets left, I think, because a lot of people just check the dipstick on the oil for the, the engine, uh, check the diesel and water, and something like the air filter there either gets forgotten about it or you just think, oh, I don't bother with it. Um, because obviously the engine keeps running and you, you kind of don't think you've got a problem. You probably only really realise you've got a problem when it's blocked up. Um, but uh, you can see there, it, well, even after a year's use, it wasn't that bad, but there was sediment in the bottom, so you do need to do it. Anyway, hopefully, if any of you got a, a Massey 135, you either know how to do that or I've shown you how to do it. Anyway, back to another job somewhere. Cheers then. <laughs>